I'm Darcy Hildebeidel. I teach visual art and the passion project to high schoolers at the upper school at the Sagemont School. And we have just uh, begun to wrap up our second annual diversity fair. The diversity fair is a really cool event in which the students can self select from a schedule of speakers in a workshop style format and they can attend lectures on anything from cultures around the world to how to handle social situations to learning about people's experiences outside of themselves. Uh, it's an important event to me because um, I come from, actually I went to a high school where we had the diversity fair and I'm able to continue this tradition on into this high school and uh, this year I brought my high school instructor to come and teach us about Japanese culture uh, and she was the person who brought it to me. So we get to continue it through a generational process and it was really exciting for the kids to get to see that too. Um, and it's a, great, it's a great opportunity for our community to come together and really share our ideas and expertise and uh, networking skills with each other because the event would not come together if it were not for all of the knowledge and expertise of all of the teachers at Sagemont. So it's been a great um, activity this year. Today is part of the diversity fair and I have really liked this day because you get to learn different things that you haven't learned in a while or maybe never. Hi, my name is Mila. I'm in first grade and my favorite part of the diversity was the singer and the author because first of all, I do the piano and I like music. And second of all, I like reading books. To fight the unbeatable foe, to bear with unbearable sorrow. Hi, my name is Braylon Burbridge. I'm in ninth grade and I'm taking a part of the diversity fair. We learned about how to learn with disabilities and one thing that moved me was that she's like a normal person and she talks and makes jokes like everybody else. And that, um, it's kind of weird that people look at her that certain way and she doesn't see herself as a disability. She sees herself as like someone that could do what she wants to do in her daily life. Hi, my name is Ariana. I'm in fifth grade and I really like that the diversity fair because I got to learn many new cultures that I never even knew before. And I also really thought that the sweets that the parents brought in were really delicious. Hello, my name's Antonio E. I'm in second grade and my favorite part of diversity fair today is when we learned about Greek culture. My name is Amy Pesci, mom. My grade level in kinder and my favorite diversity fair when my mom came on and because why? Because um, he see my mom. Today is Diversity Fair. My name is Annabella Vigna and I am a junior at the Sagemont School. For session one, I learned how to cook dorm food with Miss Rocco. I loved learning how to make ramen look like chicken lo mein. Hi, how are you? My name is Francisco Ramirez and I'm in 11th grade. And my first session was how to live in a cruise ship and the type of jobs available in living in a cruise ship. Thank you. Hello, my name is David Fernandez and I am in the sixth grade. I just left a, zoo, a Google Classroom meeting with a city council member in Michigan. She was talking about how you can make politics better for your own city at a very young age. You can start by voting and I, and I learned that politics is really interesting. Good afternoon, my name is Jarvis Brown. I'm a teacher here at the Sagemont School. I teach a multitude of classes, ethics, principles of entrepreneurship, business management, AP seminar, and environmental science. I love teaching and I love teaching multiple disciplines. The diversity fair helps me with that passion of teaching multiple subjects because diversity is all about learning about a multitude of different ethnicities, cultures, geographical locations, it's like world geography on steroids. And it's really beautiful because in this day and age, as we can see, unfortunately, in our global society, in our global family, that there is a misunderstanding about perceptions and mindsets of people around the world. We all have different mindsets and perceptions based on a variety of factors. Understanding that will help us become more of a humane human family. 